What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and thanks for stopping by. Hey, today we are in Downey, California. We're here at Frank's Bikes in Downey. We're going to be talking to Angie, Angie the mechanic who uh, runs a shop. She has done an incredible job uh, with customizing bikes and we're going to kind of find out her story. Let's go check her out. Right, so if you come in here, it is a bike lover's dream. Oh I mean, Tyler in Texas, you're missing out, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Angie? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, we, it is it's such a pleasure to meet you. And you. finally see the person behind this, this, this incredible bike shop. Um, we've seen Frank's bikes on Instagram, you're at rides, uh, and we wanted to show the woman behind <laughs> the scenes. Yes. And yes. so, um, first Girl. of all, hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. And let's, let's kind of tell everybody about like your background. Like how did you, this is your dad's shop. Yes. Right? So this is, this was my dad's shop. Um, he started in 1992. Okay. Um, and then I have three older brothers as well, so I honestly never thought I would be in this industry. That was their thing. Okay, okay. Um, as growing up, for sure, it wasn't something I planned on doing. Um, but as I got older, you know, as I got older, it was still not the plan, but then my dad ended up getting sick, and then I just, you know, jumped in and yeah, wanted started to help helping. Out. Yeah, yeah, started helping him, and then COVID hit. And it was such a great, you know, if business started booming. Oh, yeah. So I was like, oh, okay, I think I love this. It was like, <laughs> I don't know the repairs yet, but I was like, oh, I yeah, love yeah, yeah. how, you know, the finances and stuff like that. But okay. then again, remember, it's just COVID time. Um, after I started learning more repairs, my dad started showing me and okay. he started to fall in love with the business. I, you can't really do this bike business if you don't love it, really. Like, it's, yeah, it's, you're right. You know. Um, so it became very interesting to me. And then, um, honestly, like my dad had passed away three years ago now. Mm -hmm. And it was just something I was going to do for this is my life now. Yeah. Um, we didn't get into this BMX thing like right away. It was really hard to get, you know, after COVID, okay. super hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then customizing, it's been probably like two years. Um, my other partner here, Josh, he works with me as well. Um, he honestly, he... He gave, gave an idea to the shop to start doing these custom builds, and I was mm -hmm. super scared and skeptical. Like, there's just no way. These are expensive. I was like, I'm not going to do yeah. it. I cannot, you know. I was like, there's just no way. Um, but we just threw in our foot in the water, and we are just like, let's just try this out. Started off with one brand, then a second brand, and then mm -hmm. started doing, you know, builds, started doing Instagram. And I was like, okay, this is actually going to yeah. work. Um, but yeah, you guys also for, started doing rides too. Have you guys been on rides? So I started. I don't. I never rode. I never. Yeah, rode. Like okay. I'm 29 years old, and I barely started riding last year. Like <laughs> come on, like like whatever. Yeah, yeah. I built my bike. Um, we stayed till five in the morning that day, and there was gonna be a nice big ride with okay. Adam Evil Outlet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, let me. I'm not gonna just go out there with just like a regular bike. I yeah. was like, made the decision, and I we're like, let's just. Build this It'll bike. Build something. Stay till five in the morning. Literally, if, oh, if man. it wasn't like, there's always an issue. Everything was going wrong that night, and I was like, "There's just no way. They don't want me to ride tomorrow. They don't yeah. want me to show this bike. Whatever." Um, but yeah, stay till five in the morning. Went to that ride and just totally fell in love with riding the bike. That's awesome. The scenery of this bike community, honestly, is just so different. I never would have thought like I would go out and ride a bike. Like that's honestly. Yeah. I with always, hundreds or thousands of people yes, sometimes. It's just like you know? the environment. Mm. It's such a, it's such a like mind blowing. So you feel so free and you meet so many people, yeah. so many great people and families. It's just now my son's riding with me. Nice. I'm bringing my twins with me. Nice. I have them in a trailer as well. Yeah, and I'm yeah, just yeah. like, 
yeah, honestly, I'm always encouraging. It's not even about selling the bike. It's like selling the, the family to go ride, yeah. honestly, with these people. So and it's a, great, it's a great way to just get outside, kind of like ease your mind from all the stuff that you've been going through throughout the week or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, and it's healthy Definitely. on top of that. Besides, yeah, being healthy, I always hear stories from people where it's like, this saved my life. Like, bike yeah. riding has saved my life for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. It's literally kept me sane for as well. Like, yeah. that's what I... I enjoy doing and just taking my son out and now my twins it's just it's it's honestly crazy. That's awesome. I love yeah. it. Yeah. And so tell us okay, so your dad had the shop. That's how you kinda got started. Um, tell us about like the customization side, like because you have just an incredible inventory of parts and like you said, this is not cheap. Oh no. To put all of this stuff in here. So how did you get involved with the customizing and, and just, you know, getting like what we call bougie parts, you know? <laughs> bougie for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, how did I get into... Yeah, like, how did that start? Cause I, so, cause, honestly, you know? I cannot take the credit of this. Like, I have to give all the credit to Josh. He mm -hmm. was always looking to have different things that no other shop had so okay. that you could only find online, but honestly, different sites. Yeah, Not yeah. everything all in one. Yeah. So, that's when my website's coming out as well. We're going to be able to show all this stuff. You're not gonna just see one brand on there. You're gonna have multiples. Okay. Um, but yeah, I give the credit to Josh. He honestly just, like I said, wanted to have every single part in the shop, always looking for something different, mm -hmm. always looking for something that's hard to find and to have it to be that one-stop shop yeah. for sure. So I would have to give the credit to him. But not only that, not only do you have like the really nice parts, but then just some of the stuff you do for your customers. Oh. Can we can we see some of the, the bikes that you, yeah, for like, you know, like you yeah, guys powder-coated Yeah, for sure. I'll, I'll show you stuff. guys what I have right now. Like, yeah. oh, you guys can see my bikes too. Yeah. Um, Why don't I, we start with the one that you, like, your first one. My first um, pink one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the one that took me till 5 yeah, in the till morning. Till 5 in the morning. But this is not how it looked when it first started. Okay. I then took it apart okay. and started. But, yeah, you're going to see I did a neon pink. Um, literally every single part, but I have a lot of different, um, a lot of different brands on here. Mm -hmm. Technique, Evil Owl, I just cannot, I just, I love yeah. their pedals. Like, this is just, <laughs> you'll see them on all Those of the are builds. so nice. Yeah. yeah, I just can't, but um, you'll start, yeah, it's just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really nice. And then, like, tell us about some of these other ones that we have here next to it. You have this one. What this is, is this a, so this was a custom street toys. He only made ten. Oh, a kingpin. Kingpin. Yeah. I named it the queen pin since nice. I'm a female. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because um, I was looking at it and I was like, okay, that doesn't say king. No. But yeah. then, yeah, we bought some stuff from him. Yeah. So and he. That's really cool. He only came out with ten, and my number was supposed to be a certain number, so I ended up messing up. So then make a, an extra one for mm -hmm. me. So okay. yeah, this is one of the, one of the eleven twenty niners that he came out with. Okay. But yeah, since it's not a. It's not a man, it's a queen pin. <laughs> yeah, I love it though. Did you see? These are the Legion bars I had to make last wow. minute just to go with my bike. We wanted something super crazy. It looks look like this. a crown. Yeah. Yeah, I made it look like a crown. This is from Legion. One, That's incredible. Super great brand, uh, super great person. His, his name is John. But yeah, I told him last minute, literally a week before a show, I need it. And he, and he cranked them all. Yeah, nice. super fast. Had to get it chrome, powder coated. But yeah, I just wanted something to be crazy and match my bike wow. and this one's josh's everything's one of a kind on here Look like or hard to find chrome. this was a limit not limited, I don't know if you so can see some of this stuff oh. from there but one off frame like, from craig okay. um, the z frame he made it to a two-piece yeah so these are also legion bars as well but yeah everything on this bike is super hard to get super rare really um, nice really shiny and nice too expensive yeah. i don't even want to look at it <laughs> but yeah then um i have a, a few other builds that are here that i'm starting for one of the one of the um people from the high desert his name is um, paul maxi but yeah this is a gary turner legend two-piece so it's a chrome frame with the powder coat green on top <clears throat> yeah so i have that going with some couple parts we're do i still need to do a lot of other um a lot of other gold parts on there so mm -hmm. i'm just Trying to see what else I need to do on there. Um, this is the one we just finished right now, the Bandolero, the Gary, the yeah Gary Turner, Gary Turner. Bandol Bandolero, um, with that gun clamp super got got super popular. Yeah, on that's so interesting, right? Yeah, that's an Ultra Works. Um, they're pretty much it was a limited edition, but yeah. But I like 
you know, when we were talking earlier, you mentioned about it's not just about powder coating, right? You have a special person that you go to now, mm -hmm. yes. but then they also can do the inlays. I don't know. Yeah, so inlay is becoming inlays. a lot more popular now. Yeah. Like, these little details, honestly, like when you put on the frames, you put on the bars as well. Like all those little details are changing the game. Everyone's really focusing on that stuff now, which I like to focus too. Yeah. Um, my customers builds. Don't show them the quad angle. Yeah, yeah. Don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't do it. yeah. We saw the quad and we're like, oh, she's got a quad in here. So that's, yeah. Yeah. So if, if customers want to come in and they want you to build something for them, like you can pretty much do anything for them, right? Pretty much anything. I don't think I've, we're, oh, there's this one right here that I'm not done yet, but he wants a disc brake adapted onto oh, this bike. Okay, it's yeah, a regular yeah. performer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, powder coated with rose gold. Just got to clean it up. But yeah, we're going to put a disc brake. There's, I don't think there's anything I really can't do. Mm -hmm. um, it just gets better and better. I learn a lot more like ooh, what not to do, what to do. Yeah. There's always trial and error for these bikes. It's never that easy to just put it together. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> like we make mistakes oh, all the time, you know, but like, it's but it's cool that I mean, that's part of the learning process. Oh, yeah. Right. For like sure. you do something, it doesn't work. OK, you figure out another way to do it. And then it and then it, super and you make fresh, it work. It's super frustrating at times, but I'm just yeah. like, I just want to. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely fun. Once the finished product's out, I'm just like, oh. Whew. Oh yeah, I'm sure the customers are just so stoked. Yes. To see what, we'll what go you take their do. video. It's yeah. funny because when I I mentioned like, oh, we're gonna take a video. That's awesome. I seen your Instagram. Um, that's where I really came because I really want to have a video of my bike oh, on your. Oh, wow, that's, like, cool, that's cool. Like, that's cool. That's awesome. You're gonna, yeah, really gonna yeah, spend yeah. a little too much for just a bit, but you know, I appreciate it. Hey, the video comes free. Yeah, it's a video is free, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for real. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, and not only just custom bikes, you know, like I do a lot of custom on SC bikes. This is our next one. Someone brought mm -hmm. this um, SC. We're just going to totally strip it apart. And nice. Yeah, do... I have this one. Yeah, that and quad. Yeah, and I love it. It's just such a comfortable bike to ride. And I want to pick up a new wheel set, you know, because I do want to get some like profile hubs mm -hmm. and... You know, That's exactly kind of what he's doing. We're yeah. going to chrome rims, profile hubs. We're going to totally bling this one out. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to make mine blue and black. Blue and black? So what I want to do is I want to get rid of all the all the silver stuff, you know, um, oh, polished things. Cool. And just make it blue and black. No silver, you know? no chrome. Yeah, no silver, no chrome. Just um, kind of switch That's where it, it really started with us, honestly. The SE, mm -hmm. like doing upgrades and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, and then after, it just turned into like buying frames and starting people's dream bike yeah. honestly so i yeah. i couldn't um i wouldn't want to do anything else this yeah. is probably my favorite thing to do besides That's awesome. being a mom yeah but yeah this is honestly and, and you're really lucky to be able to have a job in which you love it yes. you know and it's a passion and then it also fuels the stuff that you do on the side when you're not working like it you know mm -hmm. all those things intertwine like i'll be complaining you know. a lot though like you'll see me <laughs> complain like i'm so stressed out yeah, but yeah, 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 i was yeah. like this person needs it on this day this person is just mm -hmm. like ah but you know what it's like yeah. once it's done i feel such a relief and then i made them happy yeah so yeah everything. but how is it to be a female in this business. When we came in earlier, we heard you talking on the phone with a supplier or something, oh, yes. and you're like, you know, but it must be different because, like, yeah, there's not too many, like, female owners or mechanics that are in the bike scene, and I think it's awesome what you're doing. Thank you, really, honestly. Like, you, it's so funny. Like, if you guys were here, like, half of the time, like, I'm here, or most of the time, when the customer comes in and they'll see Josh working and I'm they'll working. They'll go to him first. They'll go straight to him. Yeah. Like, and you're oh, like, no, hey. I want him to see the bike. <laughs> I was like, if you only knew, like, right. damn. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, exactly, I, right? Yeah, like, I know what I'm doing. But exactly. yeah, they'll go straight to the man. But yeah, not a lot of people know. But they're starting to know that I'm a female yeah. in this business. And I was, I was talking to SC, who's a, one of the reps that's a female. And I was like, come on, woman power. You got to give me this bike. You got to exactly. give me that. I was like, but yeah, she's like, you're right. I was like, I'm sure you don't have that many women owners. Yeah. Let the men order the bikes for them. I was like, yeah. So we're just And even like the, the, your powder coater is female too. Oh, yeah. So like I said, I, I used to go to multiple powder coaters. There were men. I don't have nothing against them. But um, one is super local, and I love to support small businesses, yeah. and they're both two females. It's called Reliable um, okay. Powder Coat, so they're really close by, very convenient for me to just go over there and yeah, yeah, yeah. take something. But yeah, I support them. Yeah, too. and it's good to have just a relationship with someone that, that you've worked with for a while, and you know, okay, their stuff is going to be good. 
I don't have to worry about things. They'll take care of me. I'll take care of them kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, you know? for sure. Honestly, I just really quick, like, I was just thinking about how, how I got also into the customizing. Yeah. And I, can, I have to give my credit to Duro the third. I'm nice. Sure if you guys yeah. Know. Yeah, 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 he's yeah, yeah. definitely helped me with um, social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I really didn't know what I was doing until he was like, you got to do this. And that. he is such a genius That's for awesome. that stuff. And he's so supportive. He's helped me with a lot, like even, you know, Dane got clientele for Mr. Cartoon as okay. well. Yeah, so, like, yeah, I built yeah, his yeah. bikes as well. Uh, oh, we awesome. built a bike for Cheeto Vera as well. Like, yeah, Duro's been amazing. That's I, cool. I got to give a lot of credit to him as Cause well. Because he, does, he doesn't even live in the United States. No, yeah? Canada. In Canada, yeah. yeah. So does he ever, when he comes to the States, oh, does, yeah. he, does he check you guys out and stuff? Yeah, so he's been here twice. The first time, it's crazy how he found me. I was like, who is this guy? He's just recording, and I'm just like... He's been walking, yeah, recording yeah, yeah, yeah. me. I was like, who is he? Yeah, yeah. But um, we just hit it off from there. He's such a sweet person, very, very down to earth. And then showed me a few things, helped me out, came to the shop a couple times. We built bikes. We built a bike for Mr. Cartoon, Cheeto Vera. Um, Jay Mendoza is one of the comedians okay. on it. We're, we're going to build one of his as well. Oh, nice. Um, and then he came back because Mr. Cartoon dropped that line, right? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Throne, yeah throne the bikes. throne bikes. And so he came down. He helps design that stuff. And yeah, he'll come oh, through cool. here. And yeah, we'll, we'll definitely have ideas, yeah. popping ideas off for, for Mr. Cartoon builds or just life or yeah. website, things like that. He's here to help for sure. Well, we've found, at least just in, in the time that we've been doing this and talking to people, like everyone's been just so nice, mm -hmm. you know, like, um, you know, every now and then at internet, you'll get some comments and stuff on videos and, oh, you guys don't know what you're doing or whatever. But, like, I for the those. most part, for the most part, it's like everybody has been just so nice. Yeah. You know, like anyone that we've talked to, anyone who's come out to check the shop, like you and, and anyone else that we've met along the way, like everyone's been so nice. And the bike life community has just been incredible like so different yeah so it's really it's a, it's a really nice thing to get into i'm glad you're into that and and i think the stuff that's coming out of the shop is amazing no so. yeah for sure going into bike life going to the rides i honestly didn't even have the idea i was like i want to ride mm -hmm. you know i'm sure a lot of people it's like let's business yeah it's great to connect yeah of but, course you know i think people like getting to know me a personal level like not just at the shop it's yeah. built a lot of connect oh, yeah. uh, like relationships Abs absolutely and trust and things like that so it wasn't mostly about business it was just to, to go out there and meet people and just yeah. to know this is who i am this exactly. is what i do yeah you know um you guys can trust me come on in yeah but um yeah they're super nice like everyone is super um, outgoing and very like family oriented. That's nice. what's great around here. It's a lot. It's huge over here. Oh yeah, yeah the bike life community huge. here is is it's way bigger than back home. I can <laughs> tell you that for sure. Now, I hear you know there. <laughs> I, I heard there's people that are gonna go to Hawaii soon. I think at the. I think it was like yeah, next year or something we like got, that. Yeah, we got a friend, Lance Simpson. Yes. So you know Lance. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So he's he, he became a friend too, and it's and. I got to meet him simply just, he reached out to me. He was coming to Hawaii and he wanted to hook up with some guys to, to take some pictures. And he didn't know who I was. He thought I was a kid. He what? Thought, he thought cruising in the 808 was like a, like a teenager or whatever. So he reached out. I said, oh yeah, you know, like here's the guys that, that you need to talk to. And like, when are you coming down? I'll try to fly to Oahu to be there at the same time. And we got him a bike. One of our friends, uh, Elton, you know, let him borrow a bike. And um, yeah, met him got to just know more about him and he's like oh man i want to come back and so he he came back i don't know months later and he stayed at my house for a night and i just showed him our island That's and so took cool. him around and and we scouted out some places and he's like i want to do a ride here like this people would be blown away by how nice that everything would be is so crazy. yeah so i think he's he's trying to do something in like I think June of 2025. Sheesh, that would be so, so you got awesome. time. You I got did. time. Yes. You can, you know, put a little money away every month <laughs> or whatever. And that would be the be trip such, to Hawaii. Yeah, that would be so awesome. Yeah. Imagine that. Like, wow. Yeah. But, um, so, yeah, check out Lance. He's going to be dropping some information about that. But thank you so much for taking the time to talk course. to us today. Thank you for even making the time to come over here. I'm oh, sure yeah. there's a lot of things you can do in California. No. No. We, <laughs> we, no. The reason we, we stayed extra and didn't go home right after Dirty Fest is because we wanted to come to shops like this and see it. Because we've seen, we saw the stuff yeah. that you have online and we're like, we got to check this out in person. And it's, we're a little scared because we're going to be going home with stuff or like our pockets are going to be more <laughs> empty when we leave here. But it's just, we wanted to come and we wanted to get your story and kind of share that because it's such a unique thing 
to have a female you know, running a bike shop and, and doing the stuff that you guys are doing, it's awesome. So, con so continued success. Thank you, thank you. I just want to thank God for that. And honestly, like my dad, this would have never happened. Like I wouldn't have thought if it wasn't for him building it from yeah. the ground up. There was just no way. Yeah, and it's there. awesome that you're able to kind of continue that legacy. Yeah. In the original spot. Oh yes. You know, I you know, that means you know a how lot, many times sure. like, oh yeah, I can't even move one of his old school bikes at all. Like it yeah. just feels weird. Yeah, I cannot move ever from here. Oh, be hopefully you know. Yeah. And God willing, we'll be here forever. I'm sure he's smiling though. I'm sure yeah. he's happy. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. Thank all right. you. All right. Well, so thank, much. thanks again. Hey guys, you guys ever want to check out um, Frank's Bikes here in Downey, we'll have uh, the address down below and then we'll link the website. Yes, Hopefully that'll all be up soon. I think by the time we put out this video, the website will be up. You can order parts straight from Angie right off the website. Um, and yeah, that'd be kind of cool. We look forward to that. Thank you guys so much. All right. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Aloha.